Have you been looking for a new office chair but worried the seat isn't comfortable or supportive? Finding a new office chair with the perfect seat pad for your comfort needs can feel like an impossible task. Today we're going to show you our top seven chairs we've tested for seat comfort in 2020. Shopping for office chairs? BTOD TV is your number one resource for everything office chairs. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Over a period of six weeks, a BTOD team of 10 users tested over 34 popular chair models for comfort. Each user spent a four hour working period in each chair and at the end of the period gave a overall score of the seat comfort. These scores were then averaged to give an overall seat comfort score for each chair. This list will show you the top seven chairs we scored for seat comfort. With that, let's get into the video. Coming in at number one, the Nightingale CXO. With four scores of over 90 plus, the CXO is the most comfortable seat we've tested for 2020. The CXO seat pad is thick, unlike other high-end chairs we've tested, and the Enterzorb foam helps to provide contoured support unique to the individual, and it prevents bottoming out that is common with thick seat pads on less expensive chairs. If you prefer a thinner seat pad, this might not be a good option for you as after a while it does feel like you're somewhat sinking into the chair and it may be uncomfortable for you. And coming in at number two, the Steelcase Leap V2. With eight scores of 80 and above, it was liked by most and also scored the same as the CXO. The seat pad on the Leap V2 is less thick and more firm than the CXO, which is by design. So if you're looking for a thicker seat pad, you might want to consider a different option. The flexible front of the seat pan is unique to Steelcase products and it provides give for the back of your legs and allows for more movement in the chair. The only real complaint of the Leap V2 is the thinner seat pad, which some users did not like. Ranking third overall, the Gesture is the second Steelcase product in this list and it's always finding itself being compared to the Leap V2. Like the Leap V2, the seat pad on the Gesture is thin and firm by design. The seat pad is a bit more flat than the Leap so it can feel less restricting for users. Similar to the Leap V2, the flexible front of the seat pan allows for additional movement while in the chair. Overall, this seat pad is a bit firmer than the Leap V2. The OMES was our second chair on our list that offered a thicker seat pad, which helped it gain three scores in the 90s. Unlike the CXO, the Yes comes with more of a contoured shape for the pad. This shape was noticed by most, and the user who scored the Yes lowest in the group didn't like this design. One of the biggest concerns with thick padded seats is if they will bottom out over time. Ranked fifth overall, the Steelcase EMEA is the third Steelcase product on this list. Like the other two, it features a thin pad, but it is the softest of the three in the list. While the pad is thin like the Leap and Gesture, it has a bit more give in the tailbone region. The shape of the seat pad is less contoured than the Leap, which is more in line with the Gesture. This shape of the seat pad wasn't a fan favorite, with one user commenting it was too flat and another saying they found their legs falling asleep during their testing period. The only house product that made it to our list was the BTOD Acure chair, which dropped a few spots in the rankings compared to last year. Featuring one of the thickest and softest seat pads of the test group, the Acure only received three scores of 80 or above. With most scores in the 70s, users found the seat comfortable but not as comfortable as other chairs higher up on our list. Those who really appreciate a thick seat pad liked it and didn't show much concern for bottoming out over time. Like the CXO, one user complained the thick seat pad didn't offer proper support for long sitting periods. And the last chair on our list was a Eurotech Vera, which offered a seat pad that wasn't too thin or too thick. Falling somewhere in the middle, the seat pad was thicker than the Steelcase products on the list, but not quite as thick as the CXO and Acure. Overall, the seat pad is a bit on the firm side, but still allowed you to sink in, and many said it offered good support throughout their test period. The firmness of the seat was the only real complaint we had from two users, who scored the Vera seat the lowest. And that was our top seven most comfortable office chair seats for 2020. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel because we have more 2020 office chair rankings coming. And also don't forget to follow us on our other social media. Thanks for watching.